G'day from Austin, Texas for the USGP in a race that Daniel Ricciardo would typically star at, perhaps not on track, but certainly with the crowd. And was he here today? Well, not in person. I'm out here at turn 15 and look what I see! A likeness of Daniel Ricciardo on the promotional hoardings near the main gates at turn 15. Of course, this race is one of Daniel's favourites and the crowd here absolutely adore him. So I think they probably left that up there in um, honour of the Australian driver. Who else is on there? Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz, Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc. Now you probably would have also seen my comment that Daniel Ricciardo was to be honoured at uh, this race with a key to the city. Well, I understand he's not coming and uh, I've got that on pretty good authority. In fact, the um, day before he was at uh, Disneyland with Heidi on a day out wearing a bucket hat and I don't know how many people noticed him, but certainly whoever took this picture noticed him. But my understanding is he will come back at another time and still claim that key to the city. Of course, it's a token thing, but I'm sure he'll be pretty proud to accept it at some point. And another likeness of Daniel, this time walking away from the camera. Well, actually, it's an artist impression. It was interesting for me that they didn't have time to fix that poster, or perhaps they didn't want to, because certainly you can see here that Liam Lawson is featured instead of Daniel. And this morning was the first driver to arrive before pretty much any of us arrived. I did catch Liam actually up on top of the hospitality suite early in the morning, uh, going through some stuff with his engineers and actually zoomed in on his computer screen, found out it was sporting regulations. So obviously it's his first race back for some time and the guys just wanted to make sure he was the full bottle on all the things he has to do when he's behind the wheel. Daniel was a big fan of the University of Texas football team and would often wear a jersey of theirs. Well today Lando Norris came in wearing that same jersey underneath the jacket. Oh boy, wait till you see in my Drivers Drove video what he drove to the track in. It was electric. Well, it wasn't actually electric, it was a full-on muscle car. I'll have more details for you early next week. And have you seen the Ralph Lauren ad for his new fragrance? And given that it was only announced a couple of days ago, I figured that uh, that video must have been recorded um, certainly in the last few weeks. Well, I had a good look at it and he has no cut on his nose. What does that mean? Well, it was recorded earlier in the year before he had that incident on board Martin Garrix's boat. So I asked him today when it was recorded and he said February, start of the year, and his hair was much shorter. Exciting times for Jack Crawford because he will feature an FP1 driving uh, Fernando Alonso's car tomorrow. And that was an interesting choice of race to do this at because there's only one practice session given the fact that uh, we have uh, sprint race weekend. Good How to you see been? you. Um, yeah, I'm good. I didn't know you were here. You look younger Did every I? time I see Did you. I? The delightful Pato Award who's here as a bench warmer this weekend, entertaining clients, sitting in on meetings and just doing the PR stuff for McLaren. Now if you are a country music fan, you probably know this lady, Lainey Wilson, big in the US, and she was a guest today of the Alpine team. She caught up with Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon, taking selfies with both of the drivers, and was here for a good number of hours. I spent a goodly long time out in the driver's car park today, which is just the other side of the swipe gates here, and I did witness Alex Albon being, not chastised, but being asked to reposition his car uh, by one of the attendants in that car park. And have a look at, oh no, I can't show you that. That's something I can't show you until next week. I'll go on to something else. I must say, Texas sure knows how to throw a party for their Formula One. I love these cutouts, which are at the main swipe gates as you enter the paddock. And uh, earlier today, Lewis Hamilton walked through here in a Canadian tuxedo, all in denim, looking magnificent as usual. And I was also impressed with Yuki Tsunoda's outfit from Hugo. Did anyone have a cowboy hat on? No, but uh, they were giving cowboy hats out today. I caught uh, the stake drivers getting theirs and uh, noticed on the back of Valtteri Bottas is that he has his initials, same for all of the drivers, which is a nice touch. A lot of you saying too that this is one of Sergio Perez's home races. Uh, yes, definitely the case, a lot of Mexican support for the driver here, but uh, as at two o'clock, I don't think he was even in the paddock. But the Red Bull drivers are typically late arrivers and don't tend to stay too long on a Thursday. Now I don't reckon that's the best photo of Franco Colapinto to be displayed out here as people walk into the paddock, but certainly the Argentinian driver is going gangbusters in terms of support. Crowds turn up everywhere for him and his support in his home country is absolutely wild. I think he's put on at least two million followers on Instagram since he was announced as the stand-in for Logan Sargent, who I can tell you is um, in no hurry to make a decision on his future, but his golf handicap has dropped 
and he did say that his family weren't affected by the recent Florida hurricane. Now, this lady behind me got Lewis Hamilton's attention for some time this morning, probably in the order of about 40 seconds, and that is a long time. She was asking him about his bodyguards, because uh, he's no longer with uh, Lloyd, and she also mentioned somebody else. So Lewis stopped and clarified the situation. But yes, he's still well protected. Oh, and did you hear that Lewis Hamilton had two very gold teeth today? As is evidenced right here. They're not real. It's a capping of some sort, but uh, yeah, it's not the first time I've seen him with that sort of thing. Here's something interesting if you're coming to this track next year. I imagine all these roller coasters will be completed. Why have they got roller coasters out here? Well, they're turning it into a theme park with a whole host of rides, so it's a year-round attraction. But certainly this weekend, we'll see upwards of 450,000 people assembled here to watch uh, what hopefully will be an interesting race. Oh, and for a, a rare thrill, I get to go on track today in a car, not photographing a car, with a Pirelli hot lap in one of these magnificent Fords. I've done one hot lap before in Austria, so uh, I know what it's like. It's just uh, an amazing experience. If you ever get the chance, take it up. Thank you to Joey Hand, a NASCAR driver, and also to Ford for the invitation. It is a phenomenal experience. I love how F1 is so predominant here in this city. On the roads, you have F1 cars marked with a checkered flag at certain intersections. And behind me, you can buy F1 merchandise at all sorts of hours right in the heart of the city. Now, before I go, I need to say thank you to those people who turned up for a meet and greet that I had in Manila. Yes, in the Philippines earlier in the week. Well, we're an hour early and there's already a whole lot of people here. But there are about 16 racing sims here. So I'm sitting at one of these Fanatec simulators and um, it's going to be a bit of fun. Probably my favourite shot is the car about there, but we shoot from there straight head on and then you get that big tower and the flag in the background. That's great. That is really good. Andy has got a gift for me. This is a camera with my name. Good afternoon, everyone. Tell you what, that was a lot more than I expected. I thought we might be lucky to get 30 or 40. There was 115 plus, and they're so bloody enthusiastic. Now, before you go, could you please hit the like button? For those of you who aren't subscribed, here's your chance. Make good on that. Hit that subscribe button. And for a whole lot of extra content, head over here and have a look. Thanks for watching. Honestly, I thought we're, I thought we're gonna have like three people like, have to make conversation. <laughs>